Hello grade 11s, welcome to Educate. Today we'll be talking about the urinary system. Game. Okay, I'll try to make my, I'll try my best to make this simple. Okay, so what is the urinary system? It is just that system that excretes urine. Remember in our previous video, we talked about excretion. I'll actually leave the link in the description on that video so that um, you can gain an understanding of what is to excrete something. So here, when I talk about the urinary system, it is actually the system that excretes urine. So the whole point of the system is to take out urine. Yes, away from your body. So the urine, uh, the urinary system is made up of two kidneys, two ureters, a bladder, as well as the urethra. Please, this is very important. I would like you to take note of it. If they can ask what actually makes up the urinary system, you have to be specific that you have got two kidneys, two ureters, a bladder, as well as a urethra. So now, um, these things, uh, this thing, the, the, this, this, uh, these organs, the, the kidneys and whatnot, they are the ones that make up the urinary system. They are the ones that form the urinary system. So in this topic, we'll likely focus more on the kidneys because the kidneys actually play a big role in the formation of urine, actually. So now the kidney has got actually four main function of the urinary system. They are carried out by the kidney. So the kidney is responsible for osmoregulation. So when we're talking about osmoregulation, we're talking about the regulation of the water levels in the body fluids. So if there is too much water in your body, it needs to be reduced by your body. If there is less water in your body, it needs to be increased by your body. You most likely do that in homeostasis topic, but then it is very related to excretion as well. So osmoregulation is just the control of the levels of water inside your body. So in this case, uh, that function is actually carried out by the kidney. The other function of the kidney which is the one which we know, the excretion. So remember that uh, nitrogenous waste or metabolic waste or all that waste that, uh, that, that that is coming out of your body, some of it is secreted, is excreted rather, is excreted by the kidneys. So this is its second function. It is to remove nitrogenous waste such as urea. Yeah, through urine though. So the other function of the kidney, it is to regulate the pH of the body fluids. So when you're talking about the pH, we are trying to describe the acidity of something. Yes, uh, if, you, if, if your body fluids or if parts in your body or fluids in your body are too acidic, they can actually end up harming you. So for you to be able to regulate those pH levels, you need the kidneys. So the kidneys can regulate the pH levels of the body fluids. As well as the last function, it is to regulate the salt concentration of the body fluid. So not sure about the salt concentration is the amount of salt that is in your body. So if you've got too much salt, the kidney has to control the salt. If you've got less salt, the kidney has also to increase your salt. So the kidney... The kidney's fourth function is to regulate the salt concentration in the body fluids. Please take note of all of this because they might ask in an exam question, give the four functions of the kidney. First is osmoregulation. Second is excretion of nitrogenous waste. Third is the regulation of pH of body fluids, as well as the fourth one, which is the regulation of salt concentration of the body fluids. I hope I'm not being too fast, uh, but then this is the diagram that is indicating that that is showing or illustrating the urinary system. So we've said that it is made up of two kidneys, right? So the two kidneys which we're talking about are these ones, one and the other one is this one here. Yeah. So these are the two kidneys. Each and every person has got a pair of two kidneys. Yeah, he's got a pair of kidneys. Yeah, he's got two kidneys. Each and every one has got two kidneys that do those functions. These functions which we have talked about here, they are just done within these kidneys. So these kidneys are actually bean shaped. They look like beans. Yeah, the ones that we eat. Yeah, the beans. So they look like beans. They are bean shaped. If they can ask the shape of a kidney or if they can just say bean shaped, just know that they are referring to the kidneys. It is just a, a tip which might help you answer your questions because they might actually just say give a bean-shaped structure that does this and this and that. 
and you eventually know that we're talking about the kidneys so the other thing that makes up this urinary system we've said is two ureters right so these are the ureters these tubes here let me light them with green um let me okay so this is the one ureter this is the left hand ureter for me and this is the right hand ureter for me so these two tubes they are called the ureters their duty is to transport urine to the bladder so they transport urine to the bladder so where is this urine coming from you know urine right so the urine is actually being made in the kidneys yes the urine is being made in the kidneys and then it moves through the ureters all the way to this part called the bladder yes so it is moving away from the kidneys to the bladder so the function of the ureters the ureter it is to transport urine to the bladder so these the, 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 these two ureters their function is to transport urine to the blood if you just say transport urine it will be wrong but you have to mention specifically that the urine is moving from the kidneys to the bladder if you don't mention that it is moving from kidneys to the bladder you just be wrong so yes the ureters transport urine to the bladder and then this bladder it is the, the that part that stores the urine so it stores that urine and then when it is getting stored in the bladder i just get stored there temporarily of course before you go to the toilet and when you need to go to the toilet what actually happens the urine that is in the bladder will actually leave through the urethra yeah it will leave the bladder through the urethra so now this is called the urethra please do not confuse the ureters and the urethra the ureter transports from the kidney to the bladder whereas the urethra trans carries urine or transports urine from the bladder to the exterior okay to the exterior we're not talking about the exterior we're talking about the outside environment yes when you're going to the toilet the tube that actually carries the urine out of your body is called the urethra it is taking it away from the bladder yes so in males uh, you can either secrete you can either excrete urine or semen yes so this is the urinary system as a whole so let's just look basically at the kidney we're not going to go that bad that deep into the kidney but then you're just going to try and understand what actually happens in the kidney so this is the kidney this is how a kidney look looks uh well this is the kidney i've shown you just this view of the kidney so now let me just zoom in this is the kidney so you can see it's still been shaped but then now we've just zoomed in to see the parts of the kidneys so i have tried my best to gather information about each part but then for now i would like us to talk about this part the adipose as well as the renal artery and the renal vein that is all for this video well in the next video we're going to go deeper into these cortex medulla calyx renal column pyramid capsule and all of that and why are they why, 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 why do we even refer to them and whatnot? But then for now, we're just going to be talking about the adipose tissue, the renal artery, as well as the renal vein. Okay, so the ureter, remember that uh, the kidneys are connected to the ureters, right? These ones, these ones you have painted in green. This is the ureter. You can see that it is leaving the kidney, going straight there to the bladder. It's going to the bladder there, as you have seen in, the, in that diagram of the urinary system. So now the adipose, the first one, the adipose is a, it's a fat tissue actually. So it's called adipose fat tissue. So adipose fat tissue, it is a very, very, very important thing that uh, some people neglect, but then they might ask you in your exams. So the adipose or the fat tissue, uh, that is, uh, it surrounds the kidney. So the adipose tissue, you can see it's here, it's actually surrounding the what? Is surrounding the kidney why is it surrounding the kidney it is very important it protects the kidney from infection so it is not only the adipose tissue that is uh, protecting the kidney from infection it is also the renal capsule so these two share the same function in terms of the kidney it actually protects the kidneys so it is just a fat tissue these two the capsule this one this this one is called the renal capsule actually so this is a renal capsule or this is called a capsule the kidney capsule so the kidney capsule here what does it do it also protects the kidney from infection just like the adipose fat tissue so uh, let me just give you a hint they can give you a question that says 
give the name of the tissue that they are give the name of the fat tissue that protects the kidney it is called adipose fat tissue so i hope you get that and then now the other part which i see important to talk about is the renal artery this one so the renal artery you can see that here there's a what there's an arrow there's an arrow that shows that the it is bringing something into the kidney so the renal artery it brings blood into the kidney of um yeah, into the kidney so now let us talk about this blood that is brought by the renal artery so the renal artery carries oxygenated blood please note this down whenever you answer questions about the blood that is brought to the kidney mention that it is oxygenated so as long as it is being carried into the kidney by the renal artery it will be oxygenated blood when i say that the blood is oxygenated it means that it is uh, it contains oxygen it has got a high concentration of oxygen so that is it is actually coming from the heart so the renal artery is actually coming from the from the iota if you still remember your grade 10 when you're doing the heart but then i'm not going to be specific about that i'm just giving you an idea of what oxygenated blood is the oxygenated blood is coming from the heart it has got a lot of oxygen and it is transported by the renal artery into the kidney but then that blood is not only oxygenated but then it contains waste it contains waste please let us not get confused when it comes to answering a question like this one this is usually two marks you have to mention both the points that the blood that is brought in by the renal artery is oxygenated at the same time it has waste in it so the blood that is coming from the heart or the blood that is oxygenated it doesn't necessarily mean that because the blood is oxygenated it doesn't have waste no the blood has got waste products that is why it is getting inside the kidneys and then now the renal vein is the second part you can see that this air this arrow here i'm sure it's visible this blue arrow shows that the renal vein takes something out of the kidney so what actually comes out of the kidney it is the same blood that entered but then this time the renal vein removes deoxygenated blood so now the renal vein removes deoxygenated blood so now saying that the blood is deoxygenated is just the opposite it means that it has got a lot of carbon dioxide or it has less oxygen so this blood it entered with oxygen but it left without oxygen you can see so it means that the oxygen was used by the kidney but then now this deoxygenated blood indeed it does not have oxygen but it does not have waste as well so this blood is clean so what does this ring into your mind well it's obvious that the blood entered through the renal artery with what with oxygen but with waste but the blood left this this renal vein or left the kidney through the renal vein it is now deoxygenated but then it does not have waste what does it mean it means that the kidney has filtered the blood the kidney has taken out the waste from the blood so what is the, and what is the function of the kidney remember we've said that it is excretion the removal of nitrogenous waste which means that the blood that went into the kidney through the renal artery was oxygenated but it had waste products and then the kidney filtered that blood and then uh, it used up the oxygen of course and then the blood left through the renal vein and it was now deoxygenated but then it was clean it did not have waste so that waste will be excreted as urine and that's it so once you understand this you will already understand the urinary system as a whole once you understand this the urinary system will be easy even if they're gonna throw you with bombastic words and whatnot but the basic understanding is what we want to achieve and attain if you just get the idea that the blood enters with waste and leaves without waste so it means that the, the kidney has filtered the waste and that waste has gone to the urine yes and then it has been excreted so i hope this has helped you understand um the urinary system better uh, so let me try to make an exercise uh, in the following video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe